and welcome back to another episode of Art Class with Deanna. It is a very special holiday coming up this weekend. Can anyone think of it? It's Mother's Day. This is a day where we really need to celebrate our moms, our maternal figures in our life. This could be our grandmother, this can be an aunt, this could be your friend. Um, this is a great chance to just celebrate women for all the things that they do. Um, and I thought a really great way to celebrate that as well as springtime and all the new beautiful flowers coming up was to be making some flower crowns. What flowers should I use for my crown? Well, this is really a question of what you have access to. If you are one of my preschoolers and you have received a bag of flower crown making kit, love Deanna. Um, so you have some fake flowers all ready to go and you have all the kind of supplies that you need. Um, but if you do not have any access to fake flowers right now, this is a great opportunity to go outside and pick some flowers, um, some wild flowers, um, and really be creative and connect with nature and be able to, to find what you, what speaks to you. Um, a really important thing to remember is when you're thinking about what flowers to grab making sure take a look at the flowers is there one of them or maybe 10 of them or are there hundreds if not thousands of them in a little field well if there are thousands or hundreds then it's okay to grab a few no one's going to really notice and it's a really it, it's probably like a dandelion or something um, but if you walk past a beautiful garden that's, you know, part of someone's yard, taking their prized tulips is probably not very nice and is not very respectful. They've worked really, really hard to grow these flowers. So if it seems like it's someone else's, you really need to respect that those flowers are, are for them. Okay. What do you need for this project? Well, you need some fake or real flowers that you have found that are probably the favorite color of the person that you're making them for. Some scissors, either kiddo scissors or regular scissors. Some string and your imagination. So I have to choose first what I'm gonna have the base of my flower crown be. So that can be your pipe cleaner, that can be um, a little like kind of wired guy with some little knobbly bits on it, or it can just be um, some like of the wire kind. So you're gonna decide if you want it to be small, if you want it to be big, if you have the person present, you can kind of measure around their head and kind of decide, oh, I want it to be like a little tiara, and that would end here. A tiara is a little crown that is just kind of on the front. Um, of your head. So I have decided to make a little tiara. So I'm going to cut my little piece. Um, another fun thing to kind of think about is, especially if you find things outside, you could use little things like feathers if they're clean um, and you kind of like determine that this is okay. Um, you could use dried leaves. Um, you could use little like berries or little um any kind of cute little things that you find outside that you think your mom would like so you're gonna start with your string and i when i'm deciding how much string i just kind of bring it so that it's like a full arm length so you don't want too much string because then you're gonna drive yourself crazy and not a bunch of string all around yourself which i have definitely done before um, but you want it to be kind of as long as your wingspan which is like the length of your arms stretched out um, so that you have enough to work with. I'm gonna take my first flower here and I'm gonna put it on the end. And what I'm gonna do, and you'll probably need somebody's help for this if you are a little, if you're little, and you're just gonna kind of wrap it around and you're just gonna tie a little string here. So you're just gonna tie around it so it's nice and tight. The start of this is probably the hardest part. Um, after you kind of get this stuff done, you can kind of just go for it. And then I like to tie it one more time. So this could be the thing that your dad can help you with. Um, or I honestly think it'd be really fun to make this with your mom. Um, just don't turn around and end up wearing it yourself. Because <laughs> it's for your mom. 
And then you can take the little end and kind of turn it in so that it kind of smushes, um, it'll smush that little, that little string so that it'll really stay. And then I have like my first flower on there. Now, the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take the rest of your string and you're just gonna start adding whatever flowers you like. So I really like these and I'm just gonna kind of place them however I think looks nice. Ooh, that looks cool. So they're kind of bursting out. And then, sometimes the string gets a little crazy, so just be warned. Don't worry if you're kind of tangling yourself. I've made about a bajillion of these and I still get my string kind of tangled sometimes. You're gonna take your little guy and all you're gonna do is wrap around until you kind of feel it and it feels like if you kind of slightly pull on it that the, all the flowers aren't gonna fall off. Um, you're really just gonna make sure that it's wrapped tight enough so it's nice and tight. It's kind of like flush to the, to where that is. And then you just keep going. I think the best thing is to really think about the person that you're making this for as you're making it, because then you just get to appreciate them. And that's what Mother's Day is really all about. See how I'm just, I'm just, I'm just going and going, but I'm always going in the same direction. So if I start to wrap and I always go away from myself, I'm not gonna suddenly start wrapping this way because that's actually gonna unravel the things. So basically, if you always just go in the same direction, you're always gonna be doing it right. Like you can't really do this wrong, um, which is always kind of a nice thing to know about a project that you're working on. Because sometimes it feels like, People think that there's only one way to do things. Well, that is just so silly to me because it is art and whatever you make and if you put your heart into it, I believe that that is the right way to do it. Okay, we have arrived at the end here. I am going to, see I only have this much string. Now, if you have lots of space left and you wanna add more flowers or go back and add more flowers, you can just add more string to the end of your string, just tie another little knot at the end, or you can just be done. And the only thing you need to do to end your thing is go around kind of the way you started in the beginning and you're gonna make another little knot and that'll secure it. And I like to do, I'm kind of intense. I like to do like three knots or something just because I don't want the whole thing to unravel. So you can kind of choose whatever string you'd like. I'm just gonna use um, this kind of thin string right now, but you can do kind of like leather cord or whatever you have kind of lying around, honestly. Because right now, we are not going out and getting things. We're just using what we got. And right now, I've got all this string. Perfect. So I'm going to cut. I like to do it so that there, it's pretty long. So I can kind of fold it over. Um, and what you're going to do is just kind of feed it through. Tie it to the end. Into that little loop that you had made. Um, you can tie it a couple of times. Um, and then the other end, if you made a loop on the other end, you can do it like that, or you can just tie it a couple of times. Oh, he like, he had a little adventure. Just tie it. <laughs> and then you actually have completed your crown. Oh. <gasps> Oop. And then you just tie it on. You could use it as a wristlet. You could, yeah, you can like, like that. Or you could use it for your bun. It's so easy and so fun. Um, the same procedure that I just showed you guys is, is if you do it with um, real flowers as well. You just have to be a little bit more careful when you're wrapping it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this and I hope that you will take some time to think about um, 
the women in your life that have made you happy and that have believed in you and that you consider making them something that will make them feel really good. I hope that you have a great Mother's Day and that you have someone to celebrate with.